five kinds of right understanding. You see, I discussed about three kinds of wrong understanding. You need to understand wrong understanding as wrong understanding and right understanding as right understanding. Because our main intention of the learning and practice is to change from wrong understanding to right understanding. It is our main intention. And so we need to understand what is wrong understanding and what is right understanding. Now you can understand what is wrong understanding. What is wrong understanding. So if you can understand what is wrong understanding as wrong understanding is right understanding. But the next step we need to understand what is right understanding. Wrong understanding we can classify three kinds and then uh, right understanding it can be classified into five kinds. Uh, understanding about the dependent origination is also one of the right understanding. That is such kind of right understanding. In Pali language we call Picheya uh, Rigaha Nyana. That is understanding about the, the real cause and effect. Uh, uh, the previous day I discussed about the dependent origination into three groups. That is one way in learning about the dependent origination. That is also alternative way learning about the dependent origination. Here we get the full group. Uh, why this became the full group? Uh, that is past causes, present result, and then present causes and future results. So we can classify past, present, future, so it became full quadrant, full group. But we can make these feathers into three groups, and then this becomes a Defining groups, comma groups, and then result groups. And generally, most of the Buddhist people emphasize about the karma. Karma. Uh, good action, bad action. If you did good action, it will give the good result. If you did bad action, it will cause the bad result. But karma is not the, the main causes, original causes. Karma is cause or result? Yourself. No, uh, cause. <laughs> Both. <laughs> uh, and karma will be the causes comparing with the five degrees happening. But comparing with the defilements, greed, anger, and ignorance, karma will be the result. Because karma is the result of the greed, anger, and ignorance. Uh, the previous day I discussed about the dependent origination. Karma is karma can arise depending on the the causes of defilements, wrong understanding and attachment. Without the wrong understanding and attachment, karma cannot be produced. Karma cannot be arise. Karma means the potential that will give the result in the future. But that potential, the karmic energy cannot arise by itself. Karmic energy or the potential to give the result about the five brigades in the future can arise depending on the wrong understanding and attachment. So wrong understanding and attachment is the causes of karma. So now uh, this idea we will learn about the how physical and other brothers can continue without the soul, without the self. Uh, we are analyzing about the physical nature as physical nature, mental nature and mental nature. We learn about physical nature as physical nature, mental nature as mental nature, and how they function, how they conditioning to give the result in the future. Uh, why? Because in analyzing, uh, we the main sense to understand is there is no self, no I is, is inclusive in the cycle, in the process, in the conditioning. So first we should understand the ignorance will give the result, the volitional action in the past time. So first what 
contract, we should consider just the past time, past happening. Uh, from the view of greater truth, you can consider a uh, first contract is uh, happening in past time. Past process is not only about the past life happening, past life action, but also this very life before today. And this morning action, yesterday action will be the past process. But here we will consider about the past past quadrant. Number one is about the past action in past life. In past life we did an action, volitional action, depending on the causes of ignorance. That's mean of ignorance will cause the volitional action. Volitional action may be good action or bad action. Yeah. Some ignorance and some attachment can cause a good action. Yeah. So, from the view of, of greater truth, uh, if we did the good volitional action, it will give the good present result. Uh, if we did the bad volitional action, it will give the bad result in the present very life. Uh, for example, uh, now we are human uh, from the view of redemption. Uh, according to the Buddha teaching, uh, human life is happening because of the past good action. So that means at the moment of death in past life, uh, we may have some kind of attachment about the good action, good deeds. We will produce the life consciousness arise <coughs> in the embryo of our mother, one. So, at the beginning of this very life, it's not the eye sense arising, ear sense arising. Uh, only the, the life consciousness arising in the embryo stage. Embryo is just a combination of father span and mother eggs. So, that is not arising yet about the eye sense, ear sense, no sense. So, there is no more arise, uh, no arising yet about the seeing consciousness, hearing consciousness thinking consciousness, but only the life consciousness is happening. That life consciousness is happen, can happen only in the period of, in the embryo stage, in the, at the period of uh, sleeping time, at the period of coma or fate situation. So these life consciousness can condition the Nama and Rupa. Nama and Rupa means physical and other process. These embryo cannot remain as the same same composition. The embryo will have the development. So later the this embryo will become the fetus. So that means uh, mental process also will become development. Uh, that is the uh, life consciousness, mental process will happen. And then maybe after the six months, each embryo stage will become the fetus and then it will become development of six centers. Uh, what are they? Eye sense, ear sense, nose sense, tongue sense. Body sense and mind sense. Uh, uh, generally, we can understand about the eye sense, ear sense, nose sense, tongue sense, body sense. But if I ask as, uh, about the mind sense, uh, uh, people cannot understand very well. If a mind sense is referring to the life consciousness and the process, 
Uh, that is starting from the beginning of this very life. So, my sense is just a life consciousness. That is one kind of unconsciousness. Uh, so, this sentence will be developed in the embryo stage after six months for a human. But others, animals, others, living beings can be different. Uh, for the type of rising of six centers. So mind sense is not only the intellectual abilities to think. Sorry? Mind sense is not the intellectual thinking process. Yeah, yeah, not intellectual uh, thinking. Uh, mind sense is, uh, generally we can consider the what the unconscious mother brought us. For example, uh, some people are so compassionate, uh, so patient, but some people are so aggressive, so short temper. Why it became like this? Uh, uh, in fact, in past life, in past, his mental state will be the, the compassionate mind, patient mind. This past mind has already gone, but the past mind has conditioned. To produce uh, the, the, the similar kind of mind in this very life, uh, the condition power uh, can be handed over through the life consciousness mental process. Uh, at the moment of that, or in Past life, you are so short and uh, so aggressive. That mind does not did not uh, did not pass through from past life to present life. But uh, these power, these quality, these quality can condition or can hand over uh, a similar mind to be produced by through the. A life consciousness mental process. So until now we do nothing about the meditation because they are just a result of past causes. Meditation was that here, the content. Uh, uh. Do you know content? Pasa. Pasa. Uh. You know Pasa? But that uh, this I uh, write out in, in English, uh, but uh, original teaching is with the body language. Uh, here, pasa. Uh, here, nama and rupa. That is uh, writing from body language. That is writing in English. Uh, but that means I sense contact with the visible object. Ear sense contact with the soft object, and no sense will contact with the Smart objects, so we should be mindful in our six content with our six sensitivities with their corresponding objects. So, at the, at the moment of content, we can be mindful with right understanding about the object that is coming in content, or we should be mindful about the matter arising regarding to the object content. Uh, here he write down only the matter rising about the feeling. In fact, uh, matter rising can be more kind. Uh, feeling, judging, consciousness, and volition. So at the moment of content, we should be mindful. That content will produce the feeling. Uh, at the moment of content or at the moment of feeling, we should be mindful with right understanding. It is not I and mine. It is just condition arising, impermanent arising, depending on their respective condition. So that means meditation was done here. But you cannot be mindful with right understanding. That means you do not meditate here. That will condition the next step. If you can meditate, 
uh, with right understanding, you will start here. Uh, so that means liberation will happen here. Liberation. Uh, feeling kind of condition about their craving and attachment. If you cannot be mindful with right understanding at the moment of contact, at the moment of feeling, at the moment of perception, you will produce the craving. Craving means liking or disliking. Uh, in Tari language, you call tanha. Uh, And then, that craving, that liking or disliking will condition about the attachment to be arise. And that attachment is also impermanence. No I, mine, but at the moment of impermanence, it can condition the karma bhava to be produced. Karma bhava means that action or condition that will condition to produce the future result. And that is Volitional action or karma. Karma go why is produced the whole life or only at the moment of the. Uh, we should consider both. Both. But, uh, uh, this idea we should consider uh, the, the every moment happening or at the moment of death. Uh, and this idea will be true in every present moment happening or at the moment of death. We uproot uh, uh, Pastankara. Sorry? Through meditation, we could uh, uproot, uh, de destroy the Pastankara. What? Sankara. About Sankara? With yeah. meditation? Uh, through meditation, past Sankara? With meditation. With meditation. You could not produce no Sankara, but could you also uproot the Pastankara? Meditate and the with me, right understanding, you don't produce no sankara. Uh, right? No sankara, yes. What about the past sankara? Is it also do you, could you uproot that? Oh, oh yes. A uh, uh, past sankara. Uh, how do you say? The right understanding is. Uh, uh, we should consider about the, the good karma, uh, but that good karma can lead to the, the nibbana nature and of suffering. So that means it can be helpful uh, to, to stop the bad sankara in past time, but it, can, it will be, be helpful to, to give the result of the, the good Sankara in past time. For the past enlightenment, the, for example, the Sodapanna, uh, Sodapanna means uh, he got the past enlightenment, past right understanding about the, the original truth. So for this situation, he can stop. The past Sankara, uh, that will give the result in lower rings. So for the same Antara, uh, he will not be reborn anymore in, in lower rings. That's like the gross level of Sankara. Uh, yes, uh, that means the, the past Sankara, that will produce the, the best real rings totally finished. For the Ingulimala, uh, Ingulimala also killed about the many people. Uh, uh, maybe he began the Arahant. Arahant means uh, he got the perfect right understanding. So that perfect right understanding, uh, we call alignment. 
กตุนีสตอปบอลเดนปาสเซคาราเดอะแกนกิฟต์เดอะเรซอร์ตในลัวอิสิสเตนเดอะกิฟต์นี้เป็นตัวอย่างของการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็จะได้รับการใช้ของที่ผมคิดว่าคุณก็Understand it's because there is no one to feel. There's no, the samkara is there, but the, it cannot affect anything because there's nothing to affect. Yeah, that's right. If the understanding of that represents the amount mm. of water. Mm. Yeah, samkara. That just means samkara. I I read up in in English, Polish and Spanish. That is samkara. Samkara can give the result uh, depending on the endurance, uh, depending on the. The defilements. Uh, just now I discussed the uh, karma means sekara. Uh, karma can give the result uh, uh, relying on the the defilements. Uh, uh, maybe if we can cease or abandon the defilements totally, uh, just mean the the karma cannot give the produce the result in the future. Meditation is, uh, 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 you may have uh, some kind of thought, uh, one kilogram, uh, but you you accept the uh, you 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 keep the this thought uh, with a small container uh, with small water. This thought will give the the solid taste, uh, strongly. But you can make the powder very big, and you can put a lot of water. Uh, the soil is <coughs> happening there, but it cannot give the strong result. Maybe the more water, uh, the more contain, uh, the the big, the, the more bigger the container, the, the the taste or the quality of that sauce uh, cannot cannot be affected too much. <coughs> In fact, now you become angry, you feel jealous. That any mental state appear and disappear totally at the right moment. That means impermanent is happening right now. The present anger, present attachment, already gone at the right moment. It does not move from today to tomorrow. Uh, past action about the bad things also already gone. The past action, past bad mind cannot follow you because the past karma or past action, past obviously past bad mind already gone at the right moment. But people do not understand the present moment impermanence of any physical state and mental state. They think. Uh, obviously, the past action or or past mind it following has something or some quality. So that is misunderstanding. You consider the action or past quality or past mind as remaining is remaining as the same thing, the same one, or I mind. That is misunderstanding. So that misunderstanding or endurance will produce the present karma, a present potential, and that will give the result at the present moment. That means we cannot. Leave the past happening, past mind in the past moment. We carry the past mind. In fact, you cannot carry about the past mind, past action. But you think uh, uh, that is following me, that is following us, as something or some potential. Uh, 
So that is ignorance, and that is misunderstanding. Something is happening or following as I, mine, or entity. Okay, so that misunderstanding become the ignorance, and that ignorance cause the karma, and karma gave the result at the present moment. So we cannot liberate from the past action, past defilement. So maybe this is present causes, like it. Present causes? Then maybe in present causes also endurance is happening. Endurance is affecting. If we do not like meditation, if we do not practice meditation, endurance and attachment affecting in four quadrants. Uh, maybe you cannot be mindful with right understanding, craving as craving, attachment as attachment. <coughs> you have no I, mind. And then you misunderstand. You mis -understand. Craving is I, mind. Attachment is I, mind. Anger is I, mind. And you think they are following as entity or soul or self. That is misunderstanding. So misunderstanding and that attachment will produce the karma and karma will give the result in the future. What is the future result? And from the view of creator truth, if, if you consider that is the, 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 the last moment, a nearly dead, and maybe at the moment of nearly dead, uh, you may have the attachment. It is I, my, I don't want to live this life, uh, my children, my wife, my mother, my father, so that's me. That will cause the attachment, and attachment will give the result, the karma and karma will give the result, the bad, in the future. So that's me. The attachment and ignorance have the potential to give the result in the future. That is we call karma. And then, uh, maybe the, the next time can happen. That's, that is from the view of origin and creator truth. But if the body is happening, aging and death, what happened? But from the view of origin and truth, the body is not living being, not something, not someone. But only the body is about the five aggregates. Physical and mental nature, physical and mental phenomena. So the main sense to understand is endurance does not move the volition and action. Endurance will be impermanence around moment. That endurance can condition the volition and action to be arise. Volition and action also appear and disappear. It cannot remain in some way. But it can condition the life consciousness arise in the future. So, on the same way, okay, this process can condition the new matter state to be arise. It is not the wrong of soul of self. Uh, generally, if we learn about the cycle, water cycle, or nitrogen cycle, or life cycle, we think the something or soul is rotating or moving around the timeline or from one place to another place. But it is not correct from the view of origin and truth. From the view of origin and truth, that is not the wrong of soul or self or one thing. They are just arising and seizing of physical and mental energies, but these arising and seizing of physical and mental energies condition the new state, new, new physical and mental nature, so this cycle will never end without the right, until the right understanding happen. How did we get into the cycle? <laughs> Get into 
the sangha or uh, how we can bring the uh, sangha. In fact, only the sangha is happening. Within the sangha, there is no I, no we. Only the breakdown of sangha and only the the process of sangha. Within the sangha, there is no we, no sa.
his existence or Namarupa, what's the cause for the continuity? For the Arahan. Uh, generally, uh, present result, uh, present result, present happening is because of the past action, past experience, <coughs> past karma. Uh, but for example, the Buddha, uh, the Buddha enlightened at the age of uh, 35. Uh, for the, at the age of 35, he totally abandoned about the, the endurance and attachment. So that means he, at the moment of enlightenment, he does not produce endurance and attachment. But on uh, this, this uh, his physical body and mental state can continue. Uh, the, the, the previously, I discussed about the condition of physical nature and, and mental nature. He can stop. He can stop the endurance and attachment. That the main condition, the main causes of the result in the future, but uh, some condition uh, he cannot stop yet. Maybe he eat, uh, he eat nutrients, uh, uh, maybe climate, uh, maybe the he still has the pasa. Pasa means uh, eyes contest, uh, ear contest that are also happening. He cannot stop yet. So that means. Uh, he can totally abandon at the age of 35. But before 35, uh, he did a lot of action. Uh, from from things past to the day 35, he did a lot of action uh, with endurance and attachment. Uh, so that means you will give the result, still give the result uh, from 35 age to 80. That means uh, I will drive the car. Uh, maybe fuel, I, I will finish all of the fuel. Uh, uh, but fuel cannot support the car move, moving forward. But uh, the, the momentum, uh, if fuel is finished, then the car totally not stopping instantly. And maybe if moving forward a little bit, little bit, and then, and then we can stop it. So that means, uh, although we can stop totally about the uh, ignorance and karma. Uh, uh, how to say, uh, you will not uh, totally stop uh, about the physical nature and mental nature. Because some conditions are still affecting uh, to be produced, to be continued. Uh, maybe uh, today I do not eat. Animal uh, study from um, today. I do not eat animal, but uh, before well, today I, I eat uh, some food, uh, dead food, affecting my body to be continued. So, uh, although I say that is liberation. Liberation, but it is not liberated of something or self or soul. Uh, only just uh, the breakdown of this cycle. Cycle is not the wrong of something or someone or soul. Uh, that is just cause and effect, conditioning and result. So endurance does not move to the volitional action, volitional action does not move to the life consciousness, life consciousness does not move to the karma and rupa, uh, that means they are just via and this via arrive moment. But they can condition the new result arise in the future, so that means it is happening like the cycle. Uh, although I say the cycle it is not the cycle, it is just bearing and this bearing nature arrive moment. For example, uh, some Buddha statue uh, behind the Buddha head, uh, some, uh, how to say, some light are rotating uh, like the cycle. But if you see very near 
it is not the rotation or movement of one line. It is just here and just here. Just here and just here at the right moment, at the right place. It does not move from one place to another place. But the, the rising and seizing of, of persecutive uh, life paths is so fast, so smooth, so it will create uh, the form of cycle. So that is about the dependent origination. And that is also why that we, uh, we need to digest and uh, analyze uh, later. Now I will discuss about the five kinds of right understanding. And in fact, in this text already you, I have already to that uh, I, I make uh, more clear. I, now I think we have always been in this cycle because they don't answer this question, so it's that was really bad actually. actually but but we were, where, is the, where is the beginning of the cycle? Actually, very question, yeah, but that doesn't mean that's the answer. Actually, but, but, but what would be another solution that still doesn't make it the answer? People used to think either the world. Everything. If there's nothing, there's nothing. Right, so you could talk about a particle. Mm -hmm. Emptiness is food. You cannot, you, can, you cannot even put something in. If there is nothing, you cannot put something inside because it needs an uh, excess. Yeah. And you can, there is no place, there is no anything you want to do. Ask an enlightened Taoist master about emptiness. Is it empty? Or would you put this master? You see, no, emptiness is not empty, it's full. It's full of energy. Eternal life. 
And this eternal life is actually the uh, load of plasma in the universe. And once you put uh, frequency, uh, something you aggregate, it creates, you see this actual state, the creation process, you see actually the universe with telescopes. It's so interesting. You see the, the electromagnetic force goes through the plasma uh, in this blood gland. Uh, and so on, and along the lines, the suns are formed, stars are formed. It's, it's, yeah, it, it's, uh, the answer is not so far away. But someone could ask, yeah, where does the plasma come from? Where do the, the charged particles come from? That's the question. Yeah. It's the origin of it. And you see, we have a kind of space. The one and the the duality. Duality. This particle actually has the potential of duality. That's why it really has uh, the attractive charge. So actually, they are not, there is no cell because uh, they are not attracted yet. Once they are attracted, you build in something where the consciousness can arise. So that's mean we should understand about the good 
dharma and bad dharma and and they are tradition about the uh, Bosanmai and and Bosanmai. You know Bosanmai, Bosanmai, and and Bosanmai. Bosanmai, wholesome mind. Bosanmai, healthy mind. Wholesome. 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 Yeah. That's my way to understand I'm not correcting yeah. anyone's <laughs> pronunciation because probably mine is the wrong one. But you know the word. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Husan Mami, Haldi Mai, Haku Mai, Nangri, 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 Free anger, jealousy, uh, depression, sadness, idea, and no sanma. The gap is understanding about their true result. Uh, generally, first step we can we can understand. Uh, uh, he got the bad result uh, because he did the bad action. Maybe you got some good result you like, and uh, you think that is uh, a good karma, uh, give a good result. But real result is not something good or bad. But what is real result, true result? Ever new and permanent nature. Yes? <laughs> oh yes, that is this step. Uh, but first step, uh, we do not understand about the impermanent nature, physical yeah. nature, uh, physical nature and mental nature. Now maybe you feel hot, uh, from the view of creator too, you can see uh, now uh, feeling hot is uh, good or bad, you can judge. Uh, but from the view of original truth, uh, feeling hot is neither good or bad, they are just physical and mental process. So that means again that is, you will understand from the view of original truth. Again, the first thing is you see only from the view of a created truth. So the understanding about true, true results is that it's not good or bad, but yes. it just cause and effect. Mm -hmm. Just physical nature and mental nature. Uh, and Nama and Rupa means body was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nama means physical process. Rupa means mm -hmm. uh, Nama means <laughs> mental process. Rupa means physical process. Who didn't discuss about it? Nama and Rupa? Yes. Good and bad is relative. Good and bad. It's true, it's true. So there's the good and bad karma. But first then, uh, we will understand from the view of greater truth. And the third step is understanding about the condition of the result. Uh, uh, that means we should understand the, the real causes or real condition of the result. From the view of great action, maybe you feel uh, suffering, and you, you get problem, you will try to blame to yourself or to others, because you think the causes of problem is because of someone or by myself. That is not seen from the view of original truth. From the view of original truth is any result is arriving depending on the what? Cause. And what is the causes of result, do you think? And in the previously I already discussed about the causes of physical nature and the causes of Mental nature. Can you remember? Uh, uh, for the causes of physical nature is uh, temperature, uh, nutrients, karma, and mental process. Uh, on the same way, the causes of mental nature is uh, even the bad mental nature, bad mental state is not is is not because of. Maybe now you feel jealousy and you think that the mind is not good. Uh, maybe why uh, my mind began like this? That means you think uh, jealousy mind is produced by you. But it is not like that. 
Yadashi man can arise not because of you. But Yadashi man can arise because of their raw understanding. So Yadashi man is not personal mind, not personal belonging. That is just a result of ignorance mind, just a condition of misunderstanding mind. So that means any result is just a cause and effect process. They are not personal belonging. And, and that previously I discussed about the condition of physical nature, the condition of mental nature, and I explained about the dependent origination. That is try to make the right understanding in that step. So any result is because uh, not any causes is. Uh, because uh, because of not you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's because of you, uh, but not. Uh, generally, uh, generally, uh, 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 even the Buddhist people say uh, I got the bad result because I did a bad action. Generally, we think uh, the cause and the effect is passing the belonging. Generally, we say you did good action, you will get good result. Uh, maybe you did bad action. And you will get a bad result. Generally, we think good and a, good or bad action or good or bad result as personal things, personal belonging. In fact, any good action is also just a condition that arising. They have their respective causes to be arise. Even the Hanusan mind or Hanusan mind. Cannot arise by himself. They can arise depending on their respective condition. So we learn about the dependent origination is to understand. Any arising is not because of you. They, they are arising because of their respective condition. Uh, so we misunderstood. Uh, any result is because of I, because of individual. Because of my action, that is misunderstanding. But from the view of creator, you can say, uh, 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 bad result is because of your bad action in past time. But from the view of original truth, it is not your action. It is not your result. Is it just? Help you. Huh? Well, understanding. If, if karma kills you, it's nothing personal. It is just the cause and effect conditioning. For example, at the meditation time, you may have some kind of thought, right? And maybe you 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 do not satisfy with the thought, right? Why my my mind think like that? That means you think uh, thought arising is personal belonging. That means you are producing the thought. If it is not like that, any thought cannot arise by your desire. Uh, any thought can arise depending on their respective condition, maybe past occurrence and past attachment. What well, condition the present thought to be arise? That means we should understand the, the respective condition of any result. So that means you are trying to, uh, you do not misunderstand about the causes is I did or about the result as I happened. And first step is understanding about the common characteristic of any physical nature and mental nature. Maybe any cause, good action or bad action, any result, good happening or not bad happening, they have the same characteristic, they have the common characteristic. At the beginning, we were trying to classify that is greed, mind, greedy mind, that is not greedy mind, that is mindfulness, that is ignorance, that is right understanding, that is wrong understanding, that is jealousy mind, that is compassionate mind. At the beginning, we were trying to classify about their mental state, about their physical state, that is fire element, that is water element. But later, 
we were not classified about the individual characteristics of them. We were trying to analyze about the common characteristics of any physical state, any mental state, and any condition. Do you know about the common characteristic? <coughs> whether fire element or water element, whether wusan mind or unwusan mind, whether mindfulness or not being mindful, they will have the same characteristic. You know? Come on, Julie. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, so that means three characteristics we need to understand. Uh, nature, Dukkha, Ananta. So what are its meaning? Nature, Dukkha, Ananta? Nature? Nature is the impermanence. Impermanence? Dukkha? Imperfection. Uh, yeah, imperfection or struggle or not. <laughs> What to be blessing? No what to be blessing. No what to be really good. And we call dukkha. Uh, even the good mental state, we should not totally satisfy with them. We should not totally rely on them. Even the good karma, good mental state. Because they are changing or impermanence around the moment. So that means they are just to be mindful. They are just to be using only. We should not totally rely on them because they are impermanent nature, changing nature, and conditioning nature. So that means we should understand that they are common characteristics about any physical state or mental state. Nature, impermanence. Impermanence means every moment of impermanence. And people can understand about the impermanent nature only after the three years later. After some periods, the Vipassana wisdom about the impermanence is understanding impermanence at right moment. If you can understand impermanence will happen after three years later, some years later, that is not understanding about the real impermanence. The impermanence of physical nature and mental nature is happening right now. If you think physical nature or mental nature will be impermanent after some minutes later, some hours later, that is not correct from the view of original truth. From the view of original truth, impermanence is right now, not some year later, not some hour later. Not even a second later. Huh? Not even a second later. Yes, yes. Uh, but, uh, if appearing and disappearing is happening right now, but appearing and replacing, rising and ceasing, and at the moment of us, nature disappearing, the new arising is replacing on the place of first one, disappearing, so we consider that the one thing is remaining for some hour. For the kind of uh, generally, we can say that candle will finish after one hour, two hours. That is not understanding about the real impermanence. And generally, if I get the one candle, and maybe that candle duration may be one hour, two hours, so you can say that candle will finish after two hours. But it is not correct understanding about the impermanence of the flame. Flame, flame will not disappear. A flame will disappear not only after one hour or two hours. The flame is disappearing at every present moment. <coughs> On the same way, our body will be impermanent uh, after 70 years later, 80 years later. That is not real impermanence uh, from the view of original truth. From the view of original truth, there are any physical self, phys any physical energy and mental energies are arising and ceasing at every present moment. So, so, to be the first right understanding, we should understand the present moment impermanence of physical nature and mental nature and to understand about the imperfection about the physical nature and mental nature. Even the good mental nature should be understood as imperfection because 
they are now forever. They are rising and seeding around moment. And then we should understand, they are Nansa. Any physical state, mental state, good one or bad one, whether you like or dislike, they are conditioned and rising. They are not self. They are not entity. They are just rising and ceasing depending on their respective condition. That's mean they are conditioned and rising. They are not your desire arising. So that is good right understanding. And then fifth is understanding about the, the end of conditioned arising, the end of impermanence. Can you understand the end of impermanence? Mm -hmm. And what is this? Mm -hmm. huh? When we break the cycle. And we break the cycle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so arising and ceasing nature is suffering nature. Impermanent nature is suffering nature, the true of suffering. Because impermanent nature, we cannot to, totally rely on them. We cannot consider they are real perfection because all is changing, all is impermanent. So maybe you can be on uh, if we can detach about the physical nature and mental nature that are impermanent. That's mean finally liberation. What happened uh, from physical nature and mental nature? Generally, our mind is thinking. Our mind always thinking about the physical nature as mental na physical nature or mental nature as I mind and and we think they are. Perfection, they are blessing, they are to be happiness. So that means we are so happy with the physical nature and mental nature. So we do not try to go beyond the physical nature and mental nature. By but we like meditation, we practice meditation, we can understand any physical nature, mental nature is just impermanent, just imperfection, and they are just dancer. So you can understand in the right way about the physical nature and mental nature, detachment power will arise. That detachment power will cause the realizing of liberation <coughs> from all kinds of impermanent nature or all kinds of suffering. So that is uh, the fourth uh, final right understanding, that is our final goal. So these five right understanding were conditioned to, to develop the detachment power. Detachment power will produce the purified uh, purify mind or, or enlightened mind that will realize the, the end of impermanent nature, the end of suffering nature, the end of conditioning nature. That is divana nature. Permanent nature, perfect nature, blessing nature, and non self nature, or unconditioned nature. Maybe now we are meditating together for 15 minutes.
sensation or feeling or any contact in our six sensitive teeth. But try to realize we are not mind seeing or you are seeing. We are not mind thinking or you are thinking. We are not mind feeling or you are feeling. But we are just conditioning nature and permanent nature or non self nature that are arising depending on their respective condition. We are not personal belonging. From the view of original truth, it is not I'm breathing or you are breathing. Only the physical process and mental process are functioning and conditioning to each other like the impermanent process. is thinking. Thinking is just only the impermanent arising, condition arising, depending on the past causes, past condition of misunderstanding and attachment, ignorance and attachment. Past ignorance and past attachment are conditioning Present thought, present feeling to be arise. Present thinking, present perception, present feeling, present desire, present feeling are uh, no personal belonging, no personal happening. We are just a conditional arising. We are just a conditional result of past ignorance, past misunderstanding, and past attachment. Of past karma. Past means not only about the action in past life, but also every action with defilement until now.
stems normally about the origin and truth, physical nature, mental nature, and the opposition, but also the greater truth. You should understand greater truth as greater truth and how to use the greater truth in the right way. Something, someone, I, my, my place, my things are just the greater truth. Radiant truths are just for using only, without thinking as reality or serious. Radiant truths are just for using only, just for knowing only, for the development of wisdom, right understanding, and doing good deeds. Radiant truths are not real, but they are useful. If we can use them in the right way, money is greater value. It has no value, no real value. But if we can use the money for donation, for helping others, money can be helpful for the development of good mind, healthy mind and spiritual development. When you have the attachment and sticky about the money with the idea of I, my, it will cause defilements, greed, craving, and worries. You should understand greater truth as greater truth and We should understand greater truths are just for using only for the development of non-greed, non-anger, non-ignorance, and wisdom. The super of our body is just the greater truth. We will leave our body one day. The body will be buried ground, under the ground, one day. When people smiling our body, we can use our body for doing good deeds, for the development of non-greed, non-anger, non-endurance, wisdom, right understanding, and detachment power. That power will lead to the end of suffering. and be mindful. Patient mind or mindful mind is not forever. It will be appearing and ceasing at the right moment. But any physical state or mental state will have the condition to produce the new seminar result in the future. If we cannot understand the present moment impermanence of any physical state or mental state, then we will cause the raw understanding of continuity as some, something, someone, or the same one. But you cannot understand the conditioning power or affecting power of any physical state and mental state at the moment of right impermanence. That is also misunderstanding about the conditioning power. Not understanding about the greater truth as greater truth 
original truth as the original truth. That ignorance will have the power to condition the attachment arise and attachment also will have the power to condition to produce the karma and the result of five brigades in the future. So ignorance, attachment, karma are impermanent. It's a right moment. But you will have the conditioning power to produce result in the future. If we do not understand the conditioning power of physical state and mental <coughs> if we cannot understand the conditioning power of physical state and mental state in the future, There is also misunderstanding. Physical state and mental state will have the conditioning power to produce the result of five brigades, physical nature and mental nature in the future, if we cannot be mindful with right understanding. Mindfulness and right understanding will have the conditioning power not to produce the result about impermanent nature in the future. But ignorance, attachment, wrong understanding, greed, anger will have the conditioning power to produce the similar result. Understand the causes and conditioning of physical nature and mental nature, that is ignorance or wrong understanding. Trying to change from wrong understanding to right understanding. Trying to change from ignorance to wisdom. Trying to change from prayerlessness to mindfulness. Trying to change from greed to none. same time right understanding, understand about the conditioning power 